Maritza here, back at again with another Valentine's Day video. Before I get into any details, I really want to thank all of you that are subscribed to my channel and I really want to basically thank you for all your sweet comments. I, I live for all your guys' comments, all your nicest comments. Really, it makes my day when you guys comment something nice, whenever I feel a little bit down, when I'm tired. Just reading you guys' comments, it really bumps me up and it really motivates me to keep on doing these videos for you guys. So I really appreciate you for liking my videos, watching all my videos, subscribing to my channel, just letting you guys know that you guys are appreciated. By me and I will be doing a giveaway soon for almost hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube it may not be a lot but it's actually a lot for me so I really want to thank you guys a lot for all you guys do for me and yes going back to the Valentine's Day tutorial if you guys have not watched the video that I posted last week which is a subtle Valentine's makeup look it's a more natural wearable I guess you can say makeup look so if you guys are more interested in a more natural look Click that video and watch it. But for those that want to take your makeup to the next level and go really dramatic for this look, this look is specially made for you. Um, and I definitely wanted to switch it up a little bit um, because in my channel, you literally always see me wearing new lipstick or natural mauve lips. But I wanted to add some color to my life, spice up your life. Maritza, spice up your life. This is a rose gold eye look with a smoky eyeliner and to top it off with a fuchsia bright pink lipstick. So without any further ado, if you guys are interested in this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. To prep my skin, I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Primer and this is going to cancel out any of the redness that I have on my skin. Also, I will let you guys know that I am doing a voiceover for this video because unfortunately my mic was off. So I was recording half of this video and my mic was completely off. So I apologize in advance if you see me talking in this video and you see me saying something differently. So bear with me guys, bear with me. For foundation, I'm going to use a more full coverage foundation this time. This is a MAC Cosmetics Studio Finish Foundation in the color NC40. This is a really full coverage foundation and I'm going to use a dual fiber brush. If you have not noticed in all my foundation, sorry, in all my videos, you'll see me applying my foundations first with a brush and then blending it in with a beauty blender and that's to give my skin more of a fuller coverage because I do have a lot of redness and even though I applied a color correcting primer it does not completely hide all of the redness away so yes I want to do full coverage foundation and also I'm going to do a full coverage powder but well, you'll be seeing that in a little bit I'm going to go in with MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus this is a hydrating mist and a setting uh, a setting spray as well um, you normally use this towards the end of your makeup, but because my skin has been really dry, I want to hydrate my skin a little bit more. So I'm going to spritz this all over my face and also helps with the blending process because I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend everything in. Um, it helps with blending with, it helps with blending out um, with a beauty blender because you don't want the beauty blender to be really dry. You want that to be um, a little more damp. To prep my eyes, I'm going to use, as always, Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm going to apply this using a blending brush. You can actually set this also with a translucent powder. For the eyes, I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I know, guys, I always use this palette, but this is my favorite palette at the moment, and all the eyeshadows that I'm going to use are on this palette, and I'm going to take Pure Ray Eyeshadow, which is the color you just saw and I'm going to take a Morphe 433 brush and I'm just going to add this to the crease don't worry if you get it a little bit on the eyelid like I just did because we are going to cover the eyelid anyways with the concealer so don't worry about how many how much mess you make on the eyelid just make sure you focus this on the crease do wiping motions back and forth and circular motions just to make sure you cover all your bases um, and we are going to make sure you soak this whole product into your crease. As my transition shade, I'm going to use Soft Brown Eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to diffuse those lines on the crease a little bit more so that it's not a harsh line and just so it's an even transition. To intensify the crease a little more, I'm going to use Summer Yum, which is this shade right here. It's a burnt orange shade and I'm still going to use my 
blending brush, my Morphe 434, 433 blending brush, and I'm just going to focus this on the crease, and don't worry about messing up because we are still going to go back over with the concealer and cleaning, cleaning this up. You're just going to build up the color on the crease. That's exactly what I do every single time. Just add a little bit at a time and add more color. That's how you get a better gradient effect. Going with my My Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer and NW25, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and I'm just going to create my lid space. This is actually perfect if you are looking to do a cut crease. So we're not doing a cut crease. We're just going to basically create and clean up the eyelid and this is perfect because we are going to add a, sh a shadow over this and we want this shadow to stand up even more. So I'm going to go in with, with Mythology Eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to mix it using my Mayron Mixing Medium. Basically, basically this liquid is to intens intensify the look even more. Especially because I've literally had this eyeshadow for about 4 years and I haven't used it since then. And my eyeshadow is actually kind of dull. So if you want to revive your eyeshadow, mix it with a little bit of mixing liquid. And that's going to bring up the pigment even more than it was before. Now taking a small taper defining blending brush and I'm going to take the same color that we use on the crease, either one is fine, and I'm just going to clean up around the area where I applied the eyelid because we want this look to be really really cut. For this look, I am going to do a wing liner and I'm going to use NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This is the best liquid liner that I've ever used in my life honestly and I'm just going to create a wing liner for now but because this product dries off matte and it dries off really fast you want to work with this product really fast because I am going to go with a eye black eyeshadow and I'm going to take a flat um, a flat shader brush and I'm just going to smudge the line just to create that perfect smoky eye and honestly you can do any simple look and smudge the eyeliner using a black eyeshadow and it looks so, so beautiful. I used to use this all the time on all my clients when I used to do makeup. I used to smudge the eyeliner and it just gives more of an elegant look instead of a really harsh eyeliner. So right here, I am going to take the tip off the brush and I'm just going to carve the crease a little bit just by adding that line right there. And I'm going to go back in with a blending brush and I'm softly going to blend it in. Do not put too much pressure because you're going to over blend. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This used to be my favorite concealer. I like it because it neutralizes any of the darkness that you have under your eyes. I don't really have that much but I still like to use it. But to give my concealer more of a fuller effect and more coverage, I use the NARS concealer and the colored custard. Then I'm going to blend using my beauty blender. I still have this old one that I have but it works perfectly well. Make sure that your beauty blender is damp because if it's dry, it's literally going to take away the product off of your face instead of blending it. To set my concealer and to prevent any creasing, I'm going to use Ben Eye Powder. This is in the color Fair. It's a very more natural shade than the banana powder because the banana is more yellow based. Alright guys, to give my eyeshadow more pop, I'm actually going to add a brow highlight. This is Nylon. MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow and I'm definitely going to add a brow highlight because who am I without a brow highlight and look at that pop. Yes, I absolutely love it. So if you are not someone that does not like to wear a brow highlight, then you can just leave it matte. Moving on to setting our foundation, I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is in the color C4 and yes, I know this is full coverage powder, but hey, it's Valentine's Day guys and I, I gotta look good for my man. So. I gotta make this face look beat, so I am packing on the foundation. I, even though I just put, already put um, full coverage foundation, now I'm gonna put full coverage powder, but you do you, boo. You do you. For the bottom lash line, I'm going to use these two shades with a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge that all over the lash line. I'm just gonna do whatever I did to the top and I'm going to add it to the bottom. Basically just create a contrast to the bottom. Um, I usually use this for all of my shadows just because honestly it looks so weird when you do a really dark eyeshadow at the top and you leave the bottom really bare. You know just gotta add a little bit of color to the bottom as well. With a flat brush, I'm also going to take the brown shade and the black shade and I'm just going to add more color to the bottom. Right now I'm only using the brown shade but I will be using the black eyeshadow right here to add only color to the outer corner of the eye. This is just to make your eye look longer. 
For mascara, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. And I absolutely love this for my lower lashes because it gives you more of a darker, fuller effect than, than like a normal mascara. It's not going to give you length, it's just going to give you more fullness. For my tear duct, I'm going to use Nylon Eyeshadow, the same shadow that I use for my brow highlight. And I'm going to pack it on first dry. Then I'm going to take Fix Plus and wet the brush with the, with the eyeshadow just to intensify the eyeshadow a little more. To bronze my skin, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills and these two shades. This is a contour kit. And I'm just going to warm up my skin using a fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply this all over my face and also use this as a contour. For blush and highlighter, I'm going to use Becca Cosmetics in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use that pink shade on the left side and the Champagne Pop in this collection as a highlight. I'm going to highlight my cheekbone, the tip of the nose, and also my Cupid's bow. To add some color onto my waterline, I'm going to use Pop Beauty. This is a nude liner. and This is going to go straight onto my waterline. For eyelashes, I'm going to use Coco Lashes in the style Risqué. These eyelashes were $5, so I would try to check out Coco Lashes because their eyelashes are so inexpensive for the quality of the lashes. For lip liner, I'm going to use Dynamo. This is by MAC Cosmetics, and this is a really pretty fuchsia pink color. It's a really bright lip liner, so if you are someone that does not like to wear too much color on the lips, I will stick with nudes, but because I normally stick to nudes, and neutrals on my channel I wanted to do something a little bit more different and more pop lipstick I'm going to use all fired up lipstick by MAC cosmetics this is a retro matte lipstick so it's completely matte and it's kind of dry in my opinion but it's a perfect shade for this look that I'm going for last but not least because I have a long day ahead of me I'm going to set my makeup using MAC cosmetics fix plus spray Alright guys, this is the end result. Hopefully you guys like it because I'm really happy of how this look came out. And especially because I don't really wear um, bright lips often. And I think that this look is actually really, really, really perfect for Valentine's Day. Hopefully it's not raining so you can wear this look out when it's sunny. And that's basically it. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace and love. XOXO.